Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make your own business card holder. Now, this is great for gifts, but also for yourself, and you can personalize it with a letter stamping kit. Let's go ahead and get started. Here are some of the supplies I'm going to be using today. So first is going to be some craft felt. Now, this is the stiffer felt, so I have a little scrap right here. So you can see, it looks just like felt. It just has a little bit more body to it. It's just not as flimsy as the other craft felt. I also have some leather. You can also use vinyl if that's what you have. I just noticed that it doesn't take to the stamping as well as the leather and you really just need a little scrap. You're gonna need some fabric tape just to hold our pieces together. This is the double-sided one that disappear disappears with water. A fabric marker some all-purpose thread, some sewing scissors, our pattern pieces, which are available for download. And as an option, if you want to embellish like I do, you have your metal stamp kit. These are letters and numbers. They come in different sizes. I'm using the quarter inch, a steel stamping block, or just something underneath that's really strong. You don't really want to just have your table underneath. And then a hammer. There are two pattern pieces. I have the front and the back. Out of the front, I'm gonna cut one out of my leather and out of the back, I'm gonna cut two out of the felt. Now I'm not using any straight pins. You can pretty much use straight pins on felt, but because it's a little bit on the stiffer side, it's a little bit harder, but you definitely don't wanna use them in the leather or vinyl if that's what you're using, because once you have a hole in it, that's it, it's permanent and you can't get rid of it. So I suggest if it's possible, Print out your pattern pieces are in cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker and stiffer. Then I just place it on the wrong side of both these items, and I can use my pen to just draw an outline of the pattern and then cut it out from that. If you wish to use the stamping kit like I'm going to do, I would recommend getting some of your fabric tape or just some tape that you have and you're going to kind of map out where you want to do the stamp. Now this is just so you can make sure that you're doing your printing straight so you can look at it ahead of time instead of just doing it on the fly and then sometimes it ends up crooked because once you start, you can't reverse it. So I'm gonna put my tape down and then I'm gonna do my letters right above the tape. You could place your engraving wherever you want. You could place it down here in the corner if you wanna do something like initials up here at the top. I'm just doing mine in the center. So I also marked the center of my tape so I can make sure that everything is going to be placed appropriately before I do any stamping. So I'm planning out what I wanna say. Now I'm gonna do my 411. So for the first word, my, it only has two letters into it. So I have this, it's gonna be right in the center of that. So I'm gonna do an M on the side and then a Y on this side. Now this one, 411, there's three numbers to that. So the center of that is actually one. So I'd place a one right in the center, a four on this side, and then a one on this side. Now I definitely recommend just practicing your hammering on a little scrap of leather, just so you can see how many hits you need to do in order to get a good impression. Typically I do one big strike, but you can also do a series of strikes if you really wanna make sure that it gets hammered in. You just need to make sure that if you do more than one strike, this does not move at all. Because if you get, if you accidentally shift it as you're hitting it, you're gonna get a letter or number that's gonna print out multiple times and it's not gonna be perfectly placed and it's gonna look odd. And again, once you do it, there's no backing out and you have to start the process all over again and therefore wasted your piece of leather. So what I like to do is, First, make sure that you place it right side up and you place it straight so it's not crooked. I always tend to make my things slightly leaning, but you really wanna try as hard as you can. So the letter goes down towards the, the leather and I already have this on my steel block so it's perfectly centered. So I place it and I kind of, I find out where my bottom of my leather, letter is and then I kind of slide it till it feels like it's hitting the bottom of my tape. Then I'm gonna take my hammer and do one strong strike right at the base. Usually if you use a lighter leather, your letters come out a lot darker. You can see this one is not quite as dark. And also as a tip, if you find that you can see the letters but they're not as dark as you would like, I then just use a regular 
pen, so this is just a regular writing pen, and then I just draw inside the letters themselves and the impressions, and that tends to pop it out a little bit more. Take your felt pieces and place them together, wrong side to wrong side, so the right side is on the outside. If there's a difference between yours, mine really doesn't matter. But I wanna make sure, since I'm not gonna be using straight pins, I'm gonna place some of this double-sided fabric tape in between, so I'll place one here and here and here. It has a paper backing, so I'm gonna peel this off, and then I'm just gonna stick them together, and that'll hold it for the sewing process. On one short end, I'm going to sew as close to the edge as possible. So I'm attaching the two felt pieces together. Now I'm also using for this project my leather needle, so that's a 9010. And then I find that a walking foot really helps in keeping the layers together so they don't slide uneven. Don't forget to back stitch at the end and beginning of the stitch. This is the side that I just stitched. So these are still open, but the tape is still holding everything together. Next, I'm gonna take this, place it right on top. So this stitch part is at the top of where we have this notch cut out. And then we're gonna take it to our machine and stitch these three sides. Again, you're gonna stitch as close to the edge as you can get. This side is gonna stay open because we wanna be able to keep it open to put in our business cards. Now, if you want to hold it together, you can use that fabric tape, but make sure that you place it as close to the edge as possible. When sewing your leather, definitely make sure that you take your time because mistakes aren't easy to hide. Now for the corners, I get pretty close to the corner as much as my seam allowance is. And then once I get really close, I put my needle down, lift my foot, and then I pivot my machine, and then I can continue on. And that's it, we're done with our project. So it actually goes by fairly quickly, and you can see I already started putting my business cards in my new business card holder. If you find after you stitch it that your felt kind of sticks out on one side, you can go ahead and trim out scissors. So therefore, it looks a little bit more perfect. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.